Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, we are here doing mowing in FS19. And I have a question for you guys, and that is, uh, at your house, do you guys cut your own grass, or do you have a company cut your grass for you? Uh, personally, I don't have much grass on my land. Uh, lots of just pavement. So, I just cut my own grass with, like, a push mower. But uh, my, like... Uh, past houses we've always had a company do it so i'm wondering currently do you have a company cut your grass or do you uh you or someone at your house just cut the grass yourself let me know in the comments down below either way guys let's get started we're going to be taking out our f450 with two different mowers with us obviously one's going to be the john deere and then we have this one which is new um it's not the best i'll be honest uh but it, it can get in some places that the john deere can't so that's why we're taking it. I uh, can see there's quite a size difference. And I do want to say there is one bug with this that is going to be noticeable. And that is our body might disappear. So we'll probably try staying in first person most of the time. I wish they made this mower just a little bit bigger. Uh, I think the John Deere is too big. And I think this one is too small. So we need we need a mower in between. But either way, let's get in our F450. And yeah, let's, let's get going. I believe this was made by... I want to say Spendable's Modding. It's some Facebook group, I believe. Um, you can probably find it on Mod Network as well, though. So, yeah. Yeah, I, guys, I honestly don't know much about this vehicle. I might have even gotten it uh, from Spencer's dedicated server. I'm not 100% sure if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Um, but, yeah, either way, we're going to go first person for a bit. And hopefully the game audio is okay. So, here we go. We're going to turn to the left here. Uh, we also have an issue, too. So... The mower at the back, uh, like the John Deere, it has to be back there. But the one in front, the orange one, uh, that mower, it's it's small, it's light. So sometimes it will slide on our trailer. So we have to watch out for that. Uh, I did experience that happening when I was setting up for this video. So we'll just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we just got to be careful. But either way, guys, I should probably tell you what we're mowing today. Uh, and also, guys, I want to say, uh, if you do enjoy this video, please drop a like and subscribe. And, yeah, and comment down below if this is your first video watching, because I'm curious, too. Uh, but no, guys, honestly, I I don't know. Li likes and comments and everything have been a bit low recently. Uh, it's probably my fault. It, it usually is. I, I'm probably doing something uh, wrong. But let me know, guys, again. Uh, I'm fine with criticism as long as it's constructive criticism. Let me know how I can improve as a creator. Uh... Or just let me know what you like that I'm currently doing. Uh, both of those are what helps me as a creator. Uh, I'm, I'm not asking for hate comments. I'm asking for constructive criticism uh, that I can improve on. If you just say you hate the video, then that's not helpful. And I don't know why you're watching. But either way, <laughs> let's uh, yeah, let's just get going uh, here. So yeah, here we are. We're just going to be cutting this grass. It's just kind of an odd job. Uh, I don't think we're going to be getting hired to do this uh, grass cutting often at this place, but yeah, we're just going to be kind of cleaning up the landscape It's they all kind of just pitched in pay because they realized the grass was getting a bit crazy So we just have a few uh, farming businesses over here. We have some kind of repair shop here, too uh, And yeah, there's some silos and stuff for uh, Farmers grain storage, too. But either way, let's get the John Deere off and I think since we've used the John Deere quite a bit in the past I'm gonna try the other mower. Uh, I really haven't gotten much experience with it but I want to try it. Also, this John Deere, I believe the version I have is improved on the last one if I installed it correctly. So this John Deere mower should be going more realistic speeds. If you guys remember the last one, it, 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 it wasn't the most realistic. We'll say that much. But here we are, guys. Look at this thing. So yeah, right now we're currently still... Yeah, you see there we disappeared, right? So we're going to have to probably do mainly first person. Even though the first person on this is a little bit funky. Uh, but it, it's okay. It's okay. Either way, so we can turn on the mower, uh, like the blade, and we should be able to cut this grass. This grass is actually quite tall here. Let's see if we can get it done. Uh, oh, this mower might not be able to cut this grass right here. This grass right here might be a different kind of grass than... Oh, actually, no, it looks to be getting it done. Okay, okay, it definitely looks to be getting it... Yeah, okay, it's definitely cutting it. So there we go, we're, we're all good there. We're going to back up and go forward here i think we'll just do it in uh like in different lines i don't think we're gonna do too many like square patterns or anything like that so yeah either way let's go here 
Yeah, okay, that last little bit, it doesn't seem like it wants us to cut, which is okay. It's fair enough. Um, okay, we can't cut down those plants, those big plants, but that's all good. It is kind of dark in this area we're cutting, too. So that's something we have to keep an eye out for. Uh, also, okay, the game's saving. Let me lower the game volume a little bit. Although it's not loud for me, it might be a little bit loud for you guys. So just lower that uh, vehicle volume. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like this vehicle is the same volume if you're in third person or in first person. Which kind of makes sense when you think about it, because it would be weird if it was that big of a difference. Actually, it should probably be loud. Like, a vehicle like this that's open, it really should be equally as loud when you think about it. Um, it should actually be extremely loud when you're sitting on it versus from a distance. So, it makes sense why it's loud in first person. But it's just, it's unique, because not many vehicles are like that. You guys know if you get in a tractor, uh, it's, it's different. Like, if you're in first person, the v volume is pretty low. And same with if you're in a truck. But then if you're in, okay, I hate these bushes, but if you're in, um, like a vehicle that's open up like this, uh, obviously the sound's gonna be acting differently, which I, I appreciate when modders spend the time to realize that and then, uh, actually develop the mod based on the fact, like with the audio and stuff. That's one thing in this game I find that vehicles really have generic audio. Uh, if a vehicle has unique audio, it's usually way too loud. Uh, there's, a, like, vehicles like the Corvette, for example, right? It's an amazing vehicle. Amazing, amazing vehicle. I love the vehicle. But, as we know, it's just that it's loud. It's extremely loud. And I know it's, it's, it takes a lot of time to kind of go and adjust the volume, uh, due to the file types it has to be. But, it's, it's, it's the way it is, right? It's very loud. And it makes the vehicle not really usable. So, and, and that's also why, guys, I don't often use that vehicle. I see people all the time telling me to use that vehicle. And I love the vehicle again. Like, the, I'm, the, the hands down, like, the, the vehicle is amazing. Especially for it coming out quite early on in the game. But it's just not, um, it's not that good to use because of volume. I'll just say that. Either way, let's uh, cut with the John Deere now. Okay, the John Deere, yeah, this is definitely an updated version. Because if you guys remember the old version, it cut a really wide area. Oh, wow, this thing actually seems to do quite a clean cut. I'm happy with that. There you go, watch the exhaust there, okay. I, uh, okay, actually, I did get that small part. I was expecting us to have to grab the other mower for the small areas, but it seems all good. Okay, I think we should probably cut, like, this direction here because it's very... It's very short going the other way. <laughs> it's a very, very weird sized area, but we've got to do what we got to do. We don't get to choose our jobs. Well, actually, I guess we do, but obviously, we don't get to choose the way the grass is. Uh, we just we want to get paid, so we got to cut whatever grass conditions they have. There we go. Okay, yeah, this is definitely improved upon uh, this version of the John Deere, so thank you to whichever person did that. I think found this update one on Expendables Modding. If not, then it was on Mod Network. But I think it was on Expendables Modding. I don't think it was from like the Expendables Modding team. I think it was just someone releasing it on there. If you guys don't know, by the way, what Expendables Modding is, Expendables Modding is a community on Facebook. Uh, they release so many mods. Pretty much, I would say, a good chunk of the mods we use, probably a, around 70% are made from Expendables Modding. Uh, and they release mods all the time. You guys know how many mods we use in the video sometimes, right? So it's... Yeah, okay. We definitely just damaged their stuff there. That's okay. Uh, it doesn't seem like it wants to cut that little area. But that's okay. So we got this area pretty much done. Uh, let's try one more pass this over just at this edge. But I think... don't think this edge really wants to cut. Yeah. See it? Doesn't really cut that edge part, which is all good. Did that over here as well. Okay, so the next area we gotta cut is here, let's let's turn off our blade for a second. Uh yeah, it's this long, long strip right over here. We don't have to do past the trees. Uh, uh if they want to pay us more, we'll do it another day. But right now it's just cutting along here. They said like just along like along with this is good. Uh, that last little section, we don't have to do if we don't want to. 
so we probably won't but we will we'll see we'll we'll do a good job we'll do a good job because obviously we want them next season to hire us again or if they need someone uh later this season we want it to be us uh that gets the job so we want to do as good of a job as we can there we go guys look at this okay you know what can we turn on our there we go we got our headlights on too that's much better uh yeah see in this vehicle we can probably raise this volume oh you can't even hear it when you're in first person interesting okay let's turn here um okay it's very hard to tell where you cut because there's so many bushes i wish we could get rid of these bushes but the only way is if you like change the other like, if you paint over the ground that's the only way to remove the bushes so we just kind of usually leave the bushes where they are there we go okay yeah i think we'll cruise let's go seven miles an hour seven miles an hour should be pretty good okay there we go oh, yeah we'll just tank through all of this it shouldn't take too long and then after this section i think i think we're good i think we're all good they, again it's just these business businesses just want this section cut because it's getting kind of crazy um I think they probably have another crew because it looks like some areas have been maintained. Oh, geez. Uh, it, it looks like some areas have been maintained. And they, again, they didn't say that they want us coming often. They said, like, just this one off time. Uh, maybe that'll change in the future. But for now, just this one time. Which makes me think that there's another company they probably just can't get out here right now due to whatever reason. Which is all good. Maybe, maybe guys, maybe it's Spencer TV mowing. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> here we go. Okay. Also, guys, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been joining the Discord server. The community is, like, at 800 people right now. It is insane. Um, yeah, you guys seem to be loving it, especially, like, I know you guys love, like, I. it's a good community. And on top of that, there's lots of good opportunities for you guys in there, especially if you have, like, a YouTube channel. Uh, we have an advertising chat that you have to think, right? You post in it. You can post whenever you want. Um, but when you post in it, you get your video seen to like 800 people, right? 800 people can get notified or you can have the chances of seeing that chat. And most of our members are actually quite active. So yeah, it's, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. And I love talking to you guys. You guys know too, at the end of like live streams, we usually uh, uh, jump in that chat, which I do enjoy. And you guys seem to really enjoy that too. It, it, it gets crazy in those voice chats sometimes, but it's it's fun. It's fun. I, I, I like doing it. You guys like talking to me and stuff, so it's it's a win win. It's definitely a win win. Either way, here we go. Uh is there green lights down there? Yes there is. There's a green underglow. That is very interesting. You don't see underglow uh on many vehicles in this game. Like that's more of like a GTA five kind of thing. But I'm more than happy seeing that in farming simulator as well. Although it might not be the most practical. Like, I don't know why you would have it on a mower. Maybe John Deere does. I don't know. I don't know. Does this mower in your life have... Um, th like, does it have those kind of um, like underglow lights? Is that a thing John Deere does? I have zero clue. Because, guys, I'm a city boy. Uh, the most John Deere I'll see would be one of these. But, I don't. again, as I said, I don't have much grass. So, I've never gotten into drive any kind of John Deere before. I rarely see John Deere vehicle, like, tra John Deere, like, big tractors, I never see. Literally never see. I, unless I'm, like, where I currently live, I never see them. If I go a few hours up north or whatever, yeah, I'll see them. Uh, but also live in Canada, so most of the year it's winter, so it, yeah, they just aren't even out. Uh, but if I go up in the summer, I will occasionally see them. <laughs> Either way, guys, here we go. Let's just do this final strip, and then we'll make sure we clean up the end a little bit because the end looked a little bit crazy. There's a lot of tall bushes that we can't knock down at the end, though, so it's kind of hard to tell what's happening over there. Oh, okay, so this final strip, it seems like it our vehicle doesn't actually do anything to. So there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just make sure that we get all along here. Um... Yeah, I want to go a little bit closer to the trees, but we don't have, as again, as I said earlier, we don't have to go too close. There we go. Okay. That should be good. They didn't tell us to do that strip or anything. So let's see. Let's see how this is. It looks like we did a pretty good job. Again, there is that last strip, but they didn't ask us to do that for whatever reason. 
again making me think that there's a company that they hire for that um but yeah so we're all good we're gonna pack up and call it a day so if you guys did enjoy watching please drop a like i'd greatly appreciate it we can turn off our uh beacon as well um but yeah if you did enjoy drop a like comment down below the question i asked at the beginning um which is if you have a company cutting your grass or if you cut it yourself or if like someone in your family cuts the grass um but yeah either way Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Please drop a like, share the video, subscribe. You guys know what to do. I can't get this on here. I'm trying to think of things to say until I, I need to get join join our Discord. Oh, I'll, guys, follow me on Instagram. We just hit a thousand followers. We're like right at the edge of a thousand followers, so there is a chance we'll drop under. Uh, but also, guys, thank you for 14,000 subscribers too. That's another big thing. Um, but yeah, more more on that in a future video. Uh, but yeah, you guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell.